In Genesis, you have failure. You have the biggest problem man ever created. It's not finished and solved unto Revelations. Thousands of years later, the Lord says, I know you can't see it now. As a matter of fact, if I tried to explain this to you, you would never get it. You would never understand it. You would be frustrated by it. But trust me, success comes in pieces. And the success you need now, Adam, because of the problem you created, is one that will take a long time to fix. But I promise you, I'm God. I live outside of time. A thousand years is as a day, and a day is as a thousand years to me. I promise you, if you walk by faith and trust me, we'll fix this. But in Revelation chapter 4, verse 11, when you get there, by the time you get there, you are worthy. Here's what, here's what will be said. O oh Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. You were the one who made all things. Now that's powerful because here's a man reaching way back to creation. He ends the book of Revelation. He ends the book talking about what you did back there. It's fixed now. We can praise you now. We can rejoice in the end of your life. I don't care what problem you have. I promise you, if you trust God, if you break it into pieces, if you say, Father, I'm going to work on this plan, trust you through the pain and the process, I'm getting to the prize, and one day I won't owe anybody, I won't be sick, I won't, come on, amen, are you hearing me, church? It's going to be victorious. For you created all things and they exist because you created what you please.